Todd Tremonti. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, party people? This is DFW Real Estate. We are talking about all things Dallas-Fort Worth real estate today across the Metroplex. Buying, selling, investing, renting, and you better get in action if you want to get something done this summer. If you want to get something done before school starts, it is absolutely crunch time. We're going to talk about that as we make our way through the show, as well as lots of exciting things and lots of unbelievably frustrating things happening in the Dallas-Fort Worth area right now. We're going to talk about the absurdity of hungry kids. We're going to talk about some really exciting stuff when it comes to the summer fun guide and things to do this summer to make just life in DFW better. We're going to get into a couple of headlines we got some tips for you. We've got some warnings for you. We've also got a full studio. The Yanni Donnie, the English Wonder in studio, spent some time with his family. We're going to hear a little bit about that. And then we've got Full Price Courtney. Is this is this nickname locked down? Is this official? I don't think I can get away from it. I hey, just keep reinforcing. Second the motion. Hey, Colt. Oh. <laughs> no, he's got to make everything complicated. You know what I mean? Enneagram 8, Challenger, total refusal to just make anything simple. No, nah, we love him. The Yanni Donnie. I got to spend time with Ian's parents. We're not going to spend a ton of time on that this show, but let me just say his mother was an absolute delight. Father is a gem of a man, and it made it very clear where Ian and Ian's son get their confidence from. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome to the show. All right, what's next? What do we have? What are we doing for the people of DFW when it comes to the real estates? Well, we're going to talk about the summer. Happy summer. Just can't make anything easy. You're just giving me that eye like, I'll let you know when I'm willing to take the wheel here. Young I'm just man. saying happy summer. Yeah, happy summer, Daniel's family. Hey, before we get into it, this first segment is brought to you as always by Patrick Gloros and his team over at Cardinal Financial. If you're looking for a mortgage, if you're looking to refinance, looking to make a purchase, reach out to Patrick and his team. Go to patrickgloros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgloros.com, NMLS number 308804. You can call him at 972-728-3420. Todtramoneyteam.com is where you will find all the recommended pros and vendors. So, happy summer, like I said. Happy summer. Can we? Can people move before the summer is over? Well, yes, but the question depends on how you define summer's over. If we're talking about the, like, lunar season summer hasn't even started no yet. we're talking about like the school yeah. school's out okay summer. so you're listening to this third week of june ish depending well if you're listening live um and the answer to that is barely it the answer is already you can barely get that done let me tell you why most school districts around north texas right now are going to start back to school second week of august ish right somewhere in that uh mid to late second week early third week of summer if you back that up, you've got four weeks of July, basically, one week of August, and one barely one and a half weeks of June left, right? So you're talking about six or seven weeks, eight weeks max, if your school season, school district starts really, really late, to be moved in like, like you've unpacked the boxes and you know where the backpacks and lunch boxes are, right? So... Right now, you should be able to finalize a contract. We call that executing a contract and close and fund a loan with a mortgage, which most loan, most closings have a mortgage um, in 30 ish days. It is risky to expect it any less. Now, Patrick Glares and his team can get it done for a lot less than that if you are totally ready and prepared. Um, but it is your to be safer. You want to give yourself five or six weeks to do that. And then to be really safe, you've got to give yourself a couple of weeks to find a home, potentially win in a competitive situation, work through inspections and things like that without any delays. Well, at least a couple of weeks, depending on where you're looking, at because least. inventory is still it's still low. Right. So that's my point. And that is why, given you might have a six to eight week window right now before school starts again. And I know for a lot of people, you're like, don't talk to me about that. I don't want to hear that right now. But that's the reality. You need all six to eight of those weeks to find the right house. And, and what we're talking about is to do this wisely, right? There are ways. If you're a cash buyer and you already know the home you want to buy, you could potentially be in there in two weeks, maybe one week. But for the vast majority of people, like 85 plus percent of home buyers and sellers in our market, you need six to eight weeks to be able to do this without the pressure 
of being like, well, I guess we have to go ahead and move forward on this house because we won't make it in time. Instead of having the wisdom and discernment to be able to say, no, that's not the right one for us. Let's we'll, we'll walk away. We'll pass on that one. So you don't want to put yourself in a situation to make a poor choice or an impulsive decision or a decision that's mostly motivated by when school starts versus the needs of your family, your budget, your preferences, the area, and all those things. With the limited number of homes available in, in most areas, certainly the most desirable areas, most competitive areas, you need all of that time. So for the sake of radio, we'll leave it there. If you want to talk more about that, you want more details, call the office, 214-310-0008. That'll get you in touch with one of our full-time professional agents here on the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, office in Richardson, office in Fort Worth, 214-310-0008, or just like my son says, ToddTremontiTeam.com. ToddTremontiTeam.com online. You know what else people can do at one of our offices? Yes. Okay. What, you yeah. what do you think? They could what sit do you think down, I'm thinking? Get a property valuation. They could have a cup of coffee. What could do you think? Drop off some peanut butter and jelly, maybe? Listen, if you're with us on video right now, if you're on the social medias, if you're on uh, the YouTubes, the internets, then you can see a giant stack of peanut butter and jelly in front of me. What you don't see is apple butter. And I just think it's under, I think it's underrated. I think it's a glorious product, but we're not going to talk about well, that. It's a peanut butter jelly drive, not an apple. It's a butter. peanut butter and jelly, jelly drive. drive. So apple butter is actually in the jelly class. So it's peanut butter and apple butter. Is well, that's delightful. confusing. Not like Cockney rhyming schemes. So here's the deal, folks. We want you to experience the joy of this with us. I know that sounds a little backwards. I'm going to I'm asking you to donate peanut butter and jelly food or cash so that we can go buy more peanut butter and jelly. But what I'm inviting to you is not to give something away. What I'm inviting you to do is to get something, to experience the joy of purpose, the joy of doing something that matters. I don't know what your lifestyle looks like right now, and I don't know what 25 or $50 means to you. It might mean skipping one meal. It might mean not buying coffee out all month this month. But if you can donate 25 or 50 or 100, 500,000, whatever you can do, you can send that right now through Venmo. On, on Venmo, just go to at PBJ Drive. It's, we set up a whole Venmo account just simply dedicated to this, at PBJ Drive on Venmo. Or you can go to pbjdrive.com and there's a website where you can use Venmo or PayPal, or you can get the address to our offices and some of our partners where you can physically drop off peanut butter and jelly. It's a great thing to do this summer with the children, with the neighbors, to show them that other people live different lives than us. Other people have different needs, and there are lots of people, especially children, this time of year that are usually dependent on either the schools or other resources for breakfast and lunch and sometimes other meals as well. And so they're not getting that during the summer. The food banks have a huge demand in June and the lowest level of supply in June. So we want to meet that need and feed area kiddos. The food banks, North Texas Food Bank and Tarrant Area Food Bank, tell us that peanut butter and jelly are pretty good things to give because it's got a good shelf life. It's got a reasonable amount of nutrition uh, and most people like it. So peanut butter and jelly, no glass jars. You can drop it off to our Richardson office or our Fort Worth office or just Venmo, 25, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever you can do to at PBJ Drive on Venmo. That's at PBJ Drive on Venmo or separate thing. You can go to the website, pbjdrive.com. You can give through Venmo, give through PayPal or see the addresses there for you to physically drop off peanut butter and jelly. The other thing you can do is help spread the word. So find Todd Tremonti or Todd Tremonti Realtors on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, and share about what we're doing with your friends and your neighbors. You might take on a personal challenge to say, I want to raise $500 for the PBJ drive. Share one of our posts. Uh, Bonnie Curry from KLTY is doing that. Chris Croc from here on, uh, on uh, WBAP are helping us with that. Grab some of their content, grab some of our content, share that out and say, I have a goal by the end of June to raise $500 or to pick up 500 pounds of peanut butter and jelly and feed area kiddos. Let me just summarize by saying this. It is utterly stupid and shameful that in a community as affluent as North Texas, we would have children that don't know where their next meal is. This is entirely without judgment of why they're in that situation, what their family setup is, what their financial setup is. This is a basic human need that we can meet and we should do that. Part of home is knowing where your next meal is 
We want to provide that. So join us, not to give something away, but to receive something, which is purpose and meaning and the joy of doing something that truly matters. PBJDrive.com. I think last year we were able to donate like just over 1,200 pounds. We want to at least double that. Yeah, to be really honest. That's our goal. We were kind of bummed out at that number. I think it was slightly higher than that. And there was some financial giving as well. But yeah, we want to blow that out of the water this year, not because of any of those rankings or numbers for us, but one more jar of peanut butter means what, like six or seven more meals, they say. You know, 10 more dollars, I think, turns into like 30 meals. And this money is going straight to the North Texas Food Bank or the Tarrant Area Food Bank. But when it comes through the PBJ drive, we're able to count it, add it up, celebrate it together. And if you give money, we will go and buy the peanut butter and jelly for you or ask the food banks, you know, in the current situation, what's better, the PBJ or the dollars. And we'll try to quantify that for our listeners. But I have no problem spending some of our time here on the show telling our friends, our neighbors, our vendor partners, other real estate agents, this matters. This is not about marketing our company. We, we barely do that at all. This is about literally putting food in the mouths and bellies of kiddos in our community. And let's be clear, those food banks serve more than just the kids. They serve you know, adults and especially the senior citizens in our community. But we are primarily focused on folks that cannot control where their own next meal comes from. Young children and the seniors that may be vulnerable in our community. So please join us in that. Please give generously. I'm asking. I have no apologies or hesitation to ask you because I know how important this is. Let's meet the needs of our neighbors. If it's easier for you to give financially, go to Venmo at PBJ Drive. Go to PBJDrive.com. You can find the PayPal. If you would like to physically experience it or bring the kids, bring the neighbors along, come to our office in Richardson or in West Fort Worth. All that information is online at PBJDrive.com. Let me tell you about DP Lambert and Goosehead Insurance. If you have not shopped your car insurance, home insurance, uh, recently, do so with DP. You, gotta, uh, you can reach out to him, dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at goosehead.com. You can call him at 214-838-5684. He saved me thousands of dollars over the years. He saved so many of my friends, family members, clients that were of ours. Uh, just so much money. Same, same. Whether that is to bundle, not to bundle, that is the question, right? To bundle or not to bundle dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Tottramoniteam.com is where you will find all the recommended pros and vendors. I just want to add one quick thing. We're going to talk a little bit more about the Summer Fun Guide later in the show. It's an incredible 28-page, I think, amazing physical print, uh, beautiful magazine about all the amazing things that we think are great during summertime in the DFW area. We can get you a physical one or a digital one. Just go to tottramoniteam.com, and there's a button up there that says get your Summer Fun Guide. But... One of the pieces, one of the stories, one of the articles in the Summer Fun Guide is written by, you know, one of our amazing friends, clients, and local celebrities, Bonnie Curry, who hosts the afternoon stuff drive time over on KLTY. Also, Chris Crock here on, on WBAP. But, but Bonnie wrote an entire article just about how you can make an impact with your time this summer. Talks about some incredible groups and causes that we love and team members of ours love. I just want to mention those really quickly. North Texas Food Bank, Tarrant Area Food Bank, Young Life, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, Hope Story, which is an incredible ministry. Uh, I Look Like Love, which is an incredible nonprofit. You can check all of that stuff out as well if you grab a summer fun guide, which also talks about bunch about our peanut butter and jelly drive. So let's talk a little bit more real estate. We'll get back to some of this, but real estate is what we do. The reason we're in the business of real estate here at the Taj Money Home Selling Team is so that we can share our God-given gifts and abilities with the world and make a true and lasting impact in the in the peanut butter and jelly drive and helping families enjoy their summers and, and, and have a summer of impact and meaning is at the heart of who we want to be and what we want to do at the Taj Money Home Selling Team. All right, let's talk a little bit about interest rates and let's kind of change the narrative that has been spoken out there in media land about you know what's actually happening with with interest rates because I think the uh, the perception from everybody out there is like ugh I've missed the opportunity to buy interest rates are ridiculous I'm never going to be able to afford something like what's the truth now the truth is that interest rates have gone up yep. right we're not denying that that is the truth but what is the truth as it pertains to um, home buyers and what it means for them. Well, man, if we had three hours, I could fill it. So uh, in an attempt- I can give you about eight to 10 minutes. In an attempt to do, give a concise answer. There are so many factors 
that an intelligent, disciplined, wise home buyer and uh, you know a, a home buyer specialist, real estate agent that's helping lead them should consider. So many factors that they should consider. And the mortgage and the mortgage rate and the required cash and the term, let's, let's roll all that into mortgage for this conversation. Those are one factor, right? So yep. if you're around the world of business at all, you'll hear people say your price, my terms, or my price, your terms. That's how deals get done a lot of the time. So I'll pay you almost any price you want if you're willing to give me really favorable terms, right? Let's say your car is worth $20,000 and you're saying, I want 30. Well, there's a scenario where I would give you $30,000 for a $20,000 car. Will you give me 20 years to pay you for it? Right? I will not. No, almost nobody would. But to get an extra $10,000, somebody might, right? But the point I'm making here is, all of a sudden the numbers start to change when you consider other factors. And so for example, in the, in the scenario where mortgage rates are up, you might be willing to still purchase a home when the mortgage rates are up if the amount you have to pay overall for the house is not as much as you would in another scenario. Or where the future value of that home is worth it. Or where the lifestyle benefit of that house is worth the expense or the school district that it's going to get your children into or out of, or the proximity to family or the hospital or whatever your high priorities are may be worth more than the additional $220 a month that have increased in payment based on an increase in rates. So does that make sense? The, the multifaceted factors uh, are really important. It is about more than just rate. Um, and there's a lot going on in the world right now that are relevant to your home purchase that are really, really important to you. There's a lot going on financially and non-financially for home buyers right now that maybe wasn't going on 18 months ago or 24 months ago that home buyers with great leadership, meaning a great real estate agent, are considering. But the vast majority of home buyers, without great leadership, without a great agent, without a great lender, without a great team around them, are just not considering. So we have a lot of people sitting on the sideline because they just financially cannot afford a better situation than they're currently in. And for that, I say the vast majority of those people are making the right decision. You know, the, the home I'm in is a better financial decision for me than the one I would have to, that, that I could buy at a 7% interest rate. But there's a lot of other people, and this is what you're getting at that are just lumping themselves in with that other crowd. And they could, with wise financial stewardship, make sense of a 6.8, 7%, 7.15% mortgage. And it might be a really, really wise choice, especially with the idea that that rate may come down in the future, or you might be able to pay that home off sooner or, or, or a whole bunch of other variables. So that is not a short answer, but it's about a short, I think as is responsible and we could certainly go longer. Whoop, 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 whoop. Muted. I was muted. Not now. Back to you. You have not checked your home valuation recently. Uh, go over to the website, go to touchmyteam.com, click the home valuation uh, button that's right there or click the selling button that's right there. There's a really cool new tool that's, uh, that we've got on the site. It's been there for a few weeks now. In less than 60 seconds, it's gonna tell you what your home is worth. It's gonna ask you a few questions. It's gonna give you really good detailed answers uh, to the valuation. You can get a cash offer right there. You can see what it would rent for. Track your equity. So much good info that has come from this brand new tool that we're super excited about. TalkToMoneyTeam.com is where you can go. Just click that home valuation tab in less than 60 seconds, get all the information you need. Yeah, you can get a cash offer there. You can do all kinds of stuff. We basically invested a ton of resources so that for you at no price in like 42 seconds can get a really good read on your property, which we believe all homeowners should have a good read on your property um, like every 30 days or so. So the other thing you need to know is we've had hail. We've had a good bit of hail in the last 40 days or so, especially if you're in that Allen Farmer's Branch corridor some of you have been hit twice now and you need a roofer you can trust. And the reality is I trust PMR roofing. You can trust PMR roofing. And the quickest, simplest thing you can do is just go to pmrroofing.com 
Eventually, you can fill out a form, click a link, call any phone number, whatever you want to do. Ask for Jordan Collins. Ask for our buddy Jordan. Uh, Jeremy on our team has literally met with them at his house in the last like three days and said the experience is wonderful. They just put a roof on my home, not because of hail. I just needed a new roof uh, for a new build construction deal. Uh, they've been absolutely wonderful. These are people you can trust that will look you in the eye, shake your hand and help you understand how to minimize the cash out of pocket, how to maximize the protection of your home and your assets and how to plan for the future. Uh, I was talking to Jordan on the show just a couple weeks ago, and he was talking about how many people they were out on their roof for the third or fourth time because those people finally were like, wow, this is a roofer I can just trust to call them whenever anything happens instead of having to scout who's going to be fair with me. Are they local? Are they trustworthy? Are they insured? And all those things. PMR Roofing are those people. PMRRoofing.com. All right. I do want to talk about Summer Fun Guide, and I want to talk about it for the benefit of our friends and listeners. So to, so pay, pay special attention here. We've got a 28-page, I think, physical hard copy. We can also get you a digital um, Summer Fun Guide. Basically, all of our favorite burger joints, ice cream spots, swimming pools, water slides, parks, uh, a bunch of super fun stuff to do in the house, a bunch of fun stuff to do out of the house. Go ahead. It looks like you're itching. It's a guide about Summer Fun Okay, I see what you did there is you explained what the very obvious title was already explaining. Thank you for your time. Um, You know, Full Price Courtney's got quite a spread in here, not more than one. She's got, if you don't know Full Price Courtney, you need to. She's got a a cool business called All the Best Days where she helps you have your best day any place you go. She loves, good, grab that mic, sister. She loves road trips. She loves being in the car with the kids. Let me try to communicate why you do it, and then you can tell me how I'm wrong. No, I love that. Courtney knows, and it's not just moms, but her heart is for moms that have all these gifts and abilities and dreams and desires and sometimes feel cooped up in the house with little kids. Um, and we know that 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 thought, that feeling alone, sometimes makes you feel guilty, and you shouldn't have to feel that way. You've got gifts and dreams and desires and want to be out in the world interacting with adults and people and things that have impact. And you've heard it and you know it to be true that what you're doing in that home with those kids is unbelievably tremendously impactful. But there is a deep desire to get out and go and do. And Courtney wants to make that easy for you. So she set you up with these day trips, these road trips. Now she's got travel guides for, you can go to Maui, you can go to Colorado, you can do all this stuff. But what she did for us, completely free by the way, you can buy her guides. She needs to raise her prices, but she won't. You can buy her guides for other areas, but she set you up with some day trips in the area. She's got a day trip, you know, she got a Dallas day, a Glen Rose day, a Wimberley day. She got some other cool stuff in here but how to have an absolutely incredible day in those areas. So when we come back from the break, we're going to talk a ton more about that. We'll have Courtney explain some details. We'll get into a little bit more of the summer fun guide and we'll talk a ton more real estate. But if you want a summer fun guide or if you want a summer buy a house or summer sell a house or summer invest or any of those other things this summer, go to ToddTremonteTeam.com or just Google Todd Tremonte, look at over 700 reviews and get in touch with one of our full-time, fully dedicated, world-class real estate specialists. All that starts at ToddTremonteTeam.com. Welcome back, party people. When we went to the break, we had full price Courtney's microphone unmuted. We were diving into the summer fun guide and we were talking about how to have your absolute best day Just one day power packed with greatness. Normally, you're telling people how to do that in like Pagosa Springs, Colorado or Maui. Uh, And you might not think, hey, it's summertime. I'm on a budget or I don't have a ton of time, but I can have an incredible day right here in Dallas or a short drive to someplace like Glen Rose or maybe a little bit more of a couple day trip to someplace like Wimberley. Talk to us about how these things come together and why people should check out the Summer Fun Guide and take advantage of that. Well, I think our summer fun guide is a great resource for when you're like, you've lost the motivation, you're out of ideas. I'm bored. They're bored. We've got a spread on a summer board. Beat the boredom. Beat the boredom. Uh, Don't beat the children. Beat the boredom. (laughs) That's right. Of just things to do at home. I I think if you uh, equip yourself with simple things like balloons and streamers and also know that water fixes everything. A midday bath solves all the world's problems. I'm very anti-balloons. Oh, you're anti-balloons? Yeah, I don't like the popping sound. It's okay, nobody asked Okay. Hey, real quick, 
How does someone have an incredible day? You don't have to tell them all the details. No, sure. How does this come together? You're like, no, you can have an amazing day right here in Dallas That's with right. your kids bouncing around in the car. Yeah. I um, think that when you spend some time figuring out the things that light you up, it's kind of like figuring out what your kids love and what you love and try to combine that. So um, part of my best day is to have coffee and to get moving and to get shopping and get food and get touristy and get inspired. And so you don't always have to do all those things every day, but when you have them and you know them, you can run into a coffee shop and get a great latte and find a fresh museum that your kids haven't experienced locally. We've got, um, like a butterfly house and all kinds of cool things that, and and free things to do with your kids, new parks, splash pads, but you can also get great food to go that would light you up and not necessarily grab, you can grab Chick-fil-A for the kids and go pick up a, a new burger that you haven't tried or. When I think about parenting my kiddos and I think about this a lot, you know, I'm absolutely not a perfect parent or perfect anything, but I'm, I, I try to be very deliberate about this. And I, I repeat a phrase I read in the book, just beware the voice of reason, right? And it seems unreasonable to drive through Chick-fil-A for my kids and go someplace else for me. But as a summer adventure, what's the, exactly. what are we talking about? We, we, we were inefficient with 19 minutes and, and look, you know, different people, different budgets, but maybe lunch was $12 more than it would normally be. What else can you do to light up everyone in the car and the family for 19 bucks, you know, totally not much. Um, so my commentary is she gave you kind of the framework, right? Get moving, get coffee, get shopping, get food, get touristy, get inspired. Some of those are really vague, but to her point is that's where you fit what you like in there, what your kids like. She's giving you literally a, a day it's in like Dallas, a, a, day a day in Glen Rose, a day in Wimberley. She's giving you like, literally, this is what, this is where you go to get the coffee. This is where you should go. But you can follow that framework like twice a week all summer yep. and do some really cool stuff. So even though you're living here in Dallas and when you think of getting out of town, you might be thinking of Hawaii or Colorado or Florida or New York. Within a drive, within a day's drive, within a couple hour drive, you can go spend a day someplace and do some incredible things. That's one of the features in our summer fun guide. If you would like to get your very own physical copy of the summer fun guide, I want you to go to toddtremonteteam.com, toddtremonteteam.com, T-R-A-M-O-N-T-E, toddtremonteteam.com. And then you can click a button that says, you know, get a summer fun guide. Um, I don't care how you do it. You can hit contact us, call us, whatever you want. We'll get you one. We can send you a digital one. It's a very good looking little digital magazine deal. Or you could swing by the office and we'll give you a physical copy or uh, let us know your address and we'll send you one. The sooner you do that, the better. There's a whole spread on fireworks displays, 4th of July coloring contests with tons of prizes, ice cream tour, all of our favorite ice cream spots across DFW. There's a burger battle in there, ranking the best burgers in DFW. There's like hundreds of things to do in here. Uh, Ultimate summer to-do list. There's a ton of great stuff. Go to toddtremonteteam.com and request a summer fun guide right now this first segment was brought to you by patrick gleros and his team over at cardinal financial if you're looking to get a mortgage to buy a house if you're looking to refinance maybe you're looking for an investment property patrickgleros.com is the best place to go to start your application you can start an application right there on his website patrickgleros.com 972-728-3420 is the phone number you can reach him on nmls number 308 Eight zero four. Would you believe me, Ian Daniels and Full Press Courtney, if I told you that in my 20 plus years of real estate and 40 plus years of living, I've never refinanced a property? No. I have never refinanced a property. Now, there's a reason for that because I typically do one of two things. Sell every two years under a two-year flip strategy, which I have a book about and we talk about all the time, or try to pay my mortgages off so fast that it doesn't make sense. But... I am about to refi for the first time ever. And the reason is we were building a property. So we did a construction loan and we'll refi. It's basically a a traditional mortgage, but we'll go out of a construction loan into a mortgage. And I could explain all the super crazy conservative ways I go about that because I hate that. But um, it technically is a refinance. And I realized the other day, I've actually never done this version of a mortgage before. And guess who explained it to me in about nine seconds? Patrick Glaris, because he takes great care of us. And sometimes my wife doesn't even ask me, her husband and real estate broker, she just texts Patrick because he's so 
helpful at educating you through the process. And so you can do that too, patrickglitters.com. We refied with Patrick back in 2020. It was like a we got like grand slam. Two and a half, yeah. 15. I remember him telling me about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is incredible. Yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, this, uh, this next segment, Todd, it's a segment I like to call the Cockney rhyming slang. Word of the week, Courtney. You ready for this? Are you yeah, unmuted? Yeah. Let's get you. <laughs> oh, I got a, I got a, I got a cracker of a one today. To be clear, oh, when I Ian's parents were here, I talked to them about the ridiculousness of this yeah. segment and the fact that their son has just taken the reins. Were they without? It? Oh, they were so proud of him. <laughs> Especially his dad. <laughs> just causing disruption makes them proud. Here we go. Okay, I'm ready. Cream crackered. Cream what? crackered. Cream what? crackered. I'm cream crackered. Shattered. Exhausted. Excellent work, <laughs> both of you. The actual term is knackered, which means okay. exhausted. Yes! Yeah, tired. I, well done. I think Courtney wins, but we were I would I was going there. You had a better word. I, shattered is just like wrecked. Sure. Is yeah. what I, so you were more slangy. I, well, and you were I wasn't solely saying exhausted. I was sure. saying like I'm just obliterated at the end of the day. Congratulations, wow, guys. That feels so good. I'm pretty proud I of us. I love winning. I'm pretty proud of us because I generally don't like this segment <laughs> at all. I actually think it's really great, but I think it makes no sense usually, which is what makes it funny. Well done, sir. Hey, let's talk a little bit about Frisco and let's talk a little bit about the PGA. There's obviously been some big Knackered. news going Knackered on. Knackered was the word. It was like a it rhymed with another word that means nothing. Okay, sorry, back to you. Crackered. Crackered and knackered. Crackered and knackered. Piece. Uh, PGA stuff been going on. We 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 Oh yeah. You know, massive news uh, in the world of golf. What does it what does all that mean though? For Frisco, because now PGA Frisco, the headquarters of right. the association, is open. It's just hosted the senior PGA Championship, the first major tournament that it's hosted. But obviously, there's a whole lot of stuff going oh on in the boy. background. So what does that mean for not only Frisco, but like the whole area as a whole? But let's... You yeah, know, let, me, let me start with real estate. And then I'll give a tiny bit of context and then I'm going to kick it back to you because you're more of a golf guy than me. But I'm going to give the real estate perspective. You can spend like 20 seconds on golf. Okay. What this means for Frisco is almost nothing changes. So the PGA will still be headquartered in Frisco. They are still at the very, very early stages of developing what will be really a global attraction. It's not like a theme park attraction. It is just a hub of all things professional golf. If there's a golf pro at a club someplace, Frisco matters to them. If the PGA is making a big corporate decision, that's happening in Frisco. People will continue to be really drawn to the golf course there. It's not primarily going to be thought of as like this massive hub of amazing tournaments, although it's, it will be that. It is the corporate headquarters for the entity, the association that makes these decisions and puts all these things together. The association is different from the tour. They are obviously unbelievably closely related, but the tour is one of the things that the Professional Golf Association does. So they have a tour, and in some ways now multiple tours, but they are also separate from the tour doing all the business of basically all things golf. That's all going to continue to happen in Frisco, going to continue to have jobs in the area, uh, a recreational, touristy, golf enthusiast magnet a bit, to be a draw. So all that is still very, very good for uh, Frisco. A lot of the negativity around it is a little bit more political, financial, future of the game, future of international relations, future of the financial benefit to players and sponsors and those things. And I'll kick that back to Ian in just a second. But for now, I want people to hear very loud and clear. This this doesn't really change anything about what was happening with the PGA specific to the property in Frisco. If anything, they might be slightly better funded as an overall entity going forward to do even more exciting things in golf. And I'd say 90% of that is reliable because so much is changing so fast. The world of golf is, is, is up in arms a bit. So specific to like the tours and the merging and all that, we're not like a news channel for golf, but people that care about Frisco might want to know a quick glimpse at it. What, what would you say about that, Ian? So throughout the course of the, throughout the world, there's multiple tours that, <clears throat> that are happening. Generally speaking, the two biggest ones were the PGA Tour here in America and the European Tour. 
up until a couple of years ago. About two years ago, uh, the Saudi Public Investment Fund uh, got involved with Greg Norman and they created Live Golf, L-I-V. They paid uh, hundreds of millions Massive. of dollars to players to have them defect from either the European Tour or the PGA Tour and join them on this new outing. That caused outrage throughout the world of golf. You know, P PGA was unhappy. Certain players decided, hey, we're going to remain loyal to the PGA. They passed up on hundreds of millions of dollars so because of the promises that was given from the PGA, Jay Monahan and other leaders in the PGA. And then within the last week, two then weeks, they woke up one there's day. now a merger was announced between the Saudi Public Investment Fund and the PGA and the European Tour and Live Golf. So now it's all under one umbrella. Now there's a whole lot of stuff that's gonna have to get right. flushed out. We don't know all the details of it. We know that it's been extremely chaotic. There's people up in arms about it. Is it fair to summarize it by saying, primarily these two big tours were really at odds with each other and all of a sudden they're partners? Really all three. Yeah. All three were at odds with each other and now they're all partners yeah. and they're all- And not everybody's happy about it. That's correct. Yeah, so that's what's happening in golf, but that, shouldn't have any major negative impact on Frisco as far as real estate development, economy, community. Frisco is very much still an unbelievably attractive, vibrant community. You've got Universal coming in. Uh, you've got massive development. It's a highly desirable area. None of that's going to change. As a matter of fact, it may fund it better to do some more exciting things. Yeah, I actually saw some of the drawings uh, of the Universal that just came out this last week or so. Yeah looks awesome. Like It looks like it's going to be really, really well, cool. I, I just went to Universal California, Hollywood, with my family. And i got to be honest, I was a little bit uh, undersold on Universal versus Disney and all these other things. Man, we had a blast. Oh, it's awesome. So I'm, I'm fired up. I think it's more targeted towards younger kiddos. But yeah. just for the community, I think it's going to be really cool that you don't have to go all the way East Coast or West Coast to experience some of that stuff you got right here. I mean, we've had Six Flags forever, but as far as like that massive scale, that, that kind of high end level of it, that's pretty, pretty amazing. I've talked to you for a long time about my frustrations when we have a bad title company that we have to work with and how important it is that you have a title company that um, is excellent at what they do. Like it is so, so important. That's Republic Title. They're one of the leaders in the industry when it comes to title insurance here in Texas. RepublicTitle.com is where you can go and you can find out more information. They are absolutely the people we want to work with, with our clients when it comes to buying and selling property. We just feel so good about it. And the, the client's best interest is gonna be taken care of. RepublicTitle.com is where you can go. You can find all of our recommended pros and vendors by going to touchmoneyteam.com, clicking the radio tab, and you will find them all right there. Plus they're just awesome people. Yep. Like every year they partner with us on the peanut butter and jelly drive. Yep. They bring over a ton of peanut butter and jelly. Uh, they care for our team, our clients, our neighbors, they're willing to help when you're not necessarily like about to close a deal and they're going to get paid. We want to do business with people that operate similarly to us and that value the relationship over the check, knowing that that's all going to work out later. So republictitle.com, about as good as it gets anywhere, especially here in DFW. All right, let's talk about the uh, a little bit about the book, The Five Lies That Will Ruin Your Real Estate Career and The Truth That Can Make You Wealthy. The third thing that we're going to talk about, the third truth, mm -hmm. is to think long term. What does that mean? So I believe that there are three, the three most important things in any small business, not just real estate, any small business. And I've been doing this for 20 something years. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. I believe this to my core. The most important thing is relationships. Then cash reserves. And the third thing is long term thinking. So long-term thinking means making it, actually, it's what we were just talking about. We're talking about Republic Title. Doing the right thing for the next 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, instead of the right thing to get one more deal and make more money today. So in a real estate context, that would be, even if what's best for the client is not to move right now, do the right thing. Think long-term. Think long if we take care of hundreds and thousands of our friends and our neighbors here in DFW, we're going to sell plenty of houses. But if all we're ever focused on is how do I sell one more house? How do I sell one more house? How do I sell one more house? We're inclined to make some really bad decisions. We're inclined to not pay attention to shifting markets, shifting interest rates, the needs of buyers and sellers. So one of the 12 truths that can make you wealthy, specifically in real estate, but this one applies to all business, is to think long-term, right? There's 
there's been a major shift in the way people think about business in the last year with interest rates and the econ economy and politics and post COVID and all these things. And a lot of people are not having as successful of a 2023 as they did in 2022. And the short sighted view thinking short term is how do I solve this problem short term? I'm panicking. I need to come back. But if you've been thinking long term, then you say, look, there are cycles to life in business. We're not going to dramatically change our business model and panic and do crazy things to remedy a, you know, a, a six month change. We're going to stay the course, do the right thing, focus on what's best for the client, what's best for our people, what's best for the community. So thinking long term will lead to wealth, not just financial wealth, relational wealth. Uh, health wealth. And what I mean by that is just, you know, depth, sustained success in those different areas. So thinking long term, in my opinion, is essential. I used to do these rants. We have a coaching and consulting company for real estate agents. By the way, we're hiring. So if you want to you want you want to be coached and consulted with as a real estate agent here in DFW uh, and you value what we value, by all means, go to touchyourmoneyteam.com and go to the careers page and let us know and we can talk. Uh, but when we coach agents all over the North America, uh, United States and Canada, we tell them that how essential thinking long term is, as well as cash reserves, uh, because man, can you really wreck a beautiful business by making rash decisions to solve a 30 day problem, right? Someone leaves your team and you're like, we got to fill that spot. A short term decision is let's find a decent enough person to fill that spot. A long term decision is even if it causes a little financial pain, a little cultural uh, discomfort for three, four, five, six months, we're going to wait until we find the right person. We're not going to change our advertising because some market condition changed to take advantage of that for six months and then try to change it back. We're not going to change our pricing structure. We're not going to change how we deliver value just so that we can make the maximum amount of money now. We, we can sacrifice a little bit of profitability for a season to do the right thing and continue to do the right thing long term. So that's how we go about it. Uh, and the people that think that way make great owners, team members, team leaders, employers, employees. And so I think if you look around at really successful businesses, ministries, nonprofits, families, homes, you see people in leadership who are thinking long term. Interest rates are as high as they've been. We talked a little bit about it in the first uh, first half of the show, but they've, they've been as high as they've been in probably a decade, a decade yeah. right? Um, so people should be curious about like buying houses and stuff, but because they're, they're higher than they've ever been, should that be stopping people? Let me just clarify, because you already said it correctly, and then you said higher than they've ever been. They were nowhere near as high as they have been yes. in the past, but they have higher than they've been in a while. And the question then is, should people pass on home buying because of that? With a big but. Yeah, the big but here is uh, interest rates are higher than they've been in a while, but your accessibility to buying a home is better than it's been in a while. Now, I'm not trying to convince you that this is like the greatest time in the history of the world to buy a home. All of us would have been best off, almost all of us, buying a home the day we were born, right? Because for, for our lifetimes, that probably would have been the cheapest time to do that. Now, if you were born in the mid to late 80s, interest rates were 19% or whatever. And that was, regardless of price, that was pretty brutal. Yep. And there are people feeling that way right now. But trust me, seven's a lot better than 19, like about 12% better. But the point here is that's just one factor. So some people probably should wait. If you're sitting on a 2.5% mortgage and you generally like your home, you might like that one better. But you might just say, you know, for me, I, I'm probably going to stay. But if you said, but our lives would be more peaceful and calm if we lived over there, if our kids were in that school, or if I could be that much closer to work or church or grocery store or whatever, then it may be worth the financial payment difference. And by the way, there's lots of ways to reduce the rate. There's lots of ways to negotiate that. There's lots of ways to address other factors of the cost of living and all those things. But the big but here is mortgage is only one factor. And there's a lot of people making really wise choices to buy right now at current rates, and they are really, really, really happy with their outcomes. Many of them are expecting to refinance later if rates come down or aggressively pay that debt down so they're not at the mercy of that payment for, for a whole lot longer. 
Um, but many others of them are saying, well, I'll take that rate if the purchase price opportunity is over here, or if the seller's that much more negotiable to do some other things, which back when wait, rates were really low, sellers weren't doing and prices weren't doing that. Let me, let me, let me say one more thing and then we'll, we'll bounce from this. But if interest rates go down and you're waiting for that, what do you think is going to happen to prices when rates go down? Whoop. They're going way up and competition's going way up. And all these people that have been sitting on the sidelines are coming out all at once. What happens when there's that amount of competition and rates are that low? Prices will absolutely skyrocket and it will blow your mind. So waiting for that, unless you have to, and if you have to, I respect that and you should. But if you don't have to, waiting for that might work out to be a really bad decision, like that's, a lifetime bad decision. And that's where we were in 2020 when people were having to pay 50, 60, 70, 100 over. $100,000 over was being what a house is worth or what was being asked, yeah. Okay, you read a ton of stuff, you watch a lot of stuff, you watch, you know, you're listening to people, you're reading books. What is one thing that you are desperately want to make sure that we know about? That, uh, there's, there's a lot rattling around in my head right now, but the thought of the day is what do you want? Are you clear on what you want? I know so many people hurting in life right now, in their marriage, in their family, in their business, in their finances, in their parenting, because they have passed up a really wonderful, great thing in pursuit of something that they don't, haven't critically thought through that they really, really want, right? They're trying to make half a million dollars a year when they can adequately provide for their family at 100. They're trying to have this three week vacation with their spouse in Tahiti when they are already at a place that they could spend one evening a week out quietly, privately investing in that relationship. They're trying to create this like, my kids will never forget these moments we had together when they're already totally capable of spending incredible time, having conversations, studying their children, learning what they love, you know, going on a best day that's tailored to what your kids love. So let me just say this. Don't pass up an incredible life of purpose and meaning and impact in pursuit of a life that really isn't needed. Now, I am not saying limit your dreams and don't shoot for the moon. What I'm saying is make sure that your purpose, your intention, and your meaning along the way is met. Don't let somebody else's dream or some magazine cover picture of life cause you to pass up what you want in pursuit of something that you don't even want. And that's been a really loud thought in my head around business, around family, around recreation, around ministry lately. So take that for what it's worth. If we can help you buy a home, sell a home, invest in real estate, or really thoroughly enjoy your summer, or feed hungry North Texas kiddos, check all of that out at toddtremonteteam.com.